what's going to happen here, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot, okay? And basically, what we're going to uh, review today, you can take this and apply this to anything that you're working on. Today it just happens to be the pawn safes that we're going to show you, and we're going to uh, teach you how to troubleshoot, proper methods of troubleshooting. So you can take this, like I said, and work on any lock that's out there. And I promise you that if you go work on any of our units or anything, you should be able to carry a bag this size and work on anything out there in the field that's electronics. Just a small tool bag and a little ratchet set will get you through in anything. If you need a hammer, a crowbar, and a wrench, we got a problem, okay? So let's start with some basic questions. Whenever someone calls and says, I'm having a problem, let's say someone calls and says, my safe won't open, what's the first thing you should do? <laughs> Does it have power? Does it show signs of response when you keep it? Okay, you got answers? Do you have a combination? Good question. What kind of safe? What kind of lock? What's that? What kind of safe? What kind of lock? Okay, so we heard, do you have power? Right, so is it plugged in the wall? Right. Does it have battery, backup? When's the last? Do you have the right combination? Right? Um, I heard another one out there. It was, uh, um, is it time lock? Someone said time lock. So basically, that's what occurs when someone calls here. <clears throat> the reason we're in this business is that we're in the service business. Really what we have to do is diagnostic before we even engage in a conversation. So you have to drill down to the facts and find out what's going on. And what you're really doing is, is that you're asking questions that they should give you a wrong answer, but you have to listen to what's not being said. That's the most important thing. You have to ask questions. Don't lead them along. You know, ask them questions that you know, you know the answer and they're gonna just give it to you. You wanna ask questions that they have to think. And you want to steer them down a path that they really have to verify the information that they're giving you, okay? So let's start off with the first, first scenario. All of you guys have worked on safes. All of you guys have worked on a, a keypad, I'm sure, for a lock or something. And if a person calls and says, it's not working, you know, that's a very general, broad statement. It's not working. So we have to get into the qualifying process. And what we're trying to teach you over here is get into a consistent way of asking questions <coughs> so that it becomes very repetitive for you and it helps steer the conversation when you have to start doing the uh, diagnostics on the unit. Okay? So the first thing is I call and I say my safe's not working. So what's the first question you would ask? Right, so the first question that we normally ask is, is it responding to you? When's the last time you used it? Okay, so the first question is, is not that it's not working, it's when's the last time you used it? Okay, so what you want to establish is a timeline now. Is that when do they best feel it was operating properly? Okay, so if I ask that question and someone says, well, it was working two hours ago. Okay, great. So what should be the next question on that it was working two hours ago? So you would just ask, did it function properly? Okay, did it function properly? And if you hear any hesitation in that question, that usually means they had to do something. It needed assistance, okay? So once they say, it, I had a hard time entering my code. I had to do it multiple times. Okay? So, key word, right? Code. I had to enter my code multiple times. So if someone says code, what does what should that trigger? Keypad. Electronics, right? So now what's the next thing we have to establish to work with electronics? Power. Right? So with power, now you have to ask the next, you have to ask a question. Is it batteries? Does it work, operate on batteries? Does it operate with the transformer? Okay? Because from that point on, once we start in this dialogue, 
now you're establishing facts. And that unless you have proper voltage, proper current, it's not going to operate properly. Right?